Hey guys, here's the NES Classic. Now a lot of people have been having trouble getting their arcade games working, myself included. So today, I'm going to show you how to get that going. Alright, first thing you want to do, if you don't already have it, get Hack Cheat 2. I'll leave a link in the description. Next, you're going to want to get RetroArch. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. You're going to want CloverApp.zip and RetroArch with Cores.zip. Once those have downloaded, extract RetroArch with Cores and HackG2.zip. Then put RetroArch.hmod into the Cores folder. Go into the Cores folder, copy all of its contents. Navigate back to the hack 2 folder. Put it into user underscore mods. Paste. Go back into the hack 2 folder. Run hack as administrator. If you haven't dumped your kernel yet, go up to the top and hit kernel. Hit dump kernel and then follow the on screen instructions. Once that's done, go up to the top and hit modules. Click install extra modules. There's no reason you can't install them all, so click all of them except for music underscore hack, you don't need that. FB Alpha and FB Alpha CPS2 is the most important. It's gonna bring up a box saying waiting for NES Mini. Connect the NES, hold the reset button while you press the power switch. After a few seconds it should connect, then just wait for it to load. Now you're finally ready to add your games. Go to add more games, go to the folder you keep your games in. I have here Dark Tower, Double Dragon, and the Simpsons Arcade game. I'm going to add all of these. You're going to want to import as archive. That's very important. And once that's done, the main thing you need to do is change this here, the command line. Change it from slash bin slash zip to slash bin slash FBA. And for the CPS2 games, just do the same thing except instead of FBA, do CPS2. Go back to add more games and add the Clover app.zip that we downloaded earlier. If you want box art, do that now. You can either hit Google right here or go up to the top and hit File. Hit Download Box Art for All Games. Not all games work right off the bat, but out of these five, four of them do work. The only one I had trouble with was this other version of Double Dragon. Now for the games that don't work, you're going to have to add a BIOS to the games folder. I'm going to include the Neo Geo and the CPS2 BIOSes for you to download. The rest you're going to have to get on your own. Now you're going to want to take note of the game ID up in the corner. That's how we're going to find it in the HackG2 folder. Right here we have CXLLG. So we're going to go to the games folder on the HackG2 folder. Then we're going to find CXLLG. That's where we're going to copy our Neo Geo.zip. If you're not sure if a game needs a BIOS or not, just try adding it, seeing if it works. And if it does, then you're good. If not, try adding the BIOS. And if all else fails, comment below and I'll try to help you. Now that that's all done, hit Synchronize Selected Games with the NES Mini. Now you just have to connect it, turn it on, wait for the games to get loaded on there, and you're all set. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section below, and I'll get right back to you. Peace. I had a little bit of trouble with the aspect ratio. Now if you have any trouble with the screen being too small or too big, hit start and select at the same time. Go to settings, then video. Try turning off integer scale. If that doesn't work, change the aspect ratio. There's a bunch of different options. Choose the one that works best for your TV. I'll see you guys later.